decrease me there. What? Um, leave me alone. Huh? Uh, I stay here. Do you want to get off? Uh, yes, get me off. Okay. But hey, you need to improve your speaking. Okay, but uh, how? Hello, my name is Maddie from POC English and in this lesson we're going to talk about how to improve your speaking skills in English. You already know that speaking is the most important skill in the English language because it helps you communicate with other people, right? But to improve your speaking or to take your speaking to the next level, there are some things that you need to know. I want you to think of speaking as a game of ping pong or table tennis. A game of ping pong requires two players, two players who play together. In our case, two people who speak with each other. Now, what do you need in order to play ping pong? You need a racket and a ball. Now, in terms of speaking, the racket is grammar and the ball is vocabulary. You use your racket, grammar, in order to shoot the ball or words. So this is how speaking works. Use grammar to shoot the vocabulary. Therefore, we can say that the basis of a good speaking skill is grammar and vocabulary. Therefore, without learning grammar or without improving your knowledge of vocabulary, there is no speaking. That is your first duty. That's your first step. But in this lesson, I'm not gonna bore you with grammar and vocabulary. I'm gonna tell you something else. If you learn grammar and vocabulary, will you be a good speaker of English? No! It's like buying a ping pong racket and a ball. If you buy a racket and a ball, will you be a professional ping pong player? Of course not. Now it is time to learn the rules of the game. How can you play ping pong? Theoretically, you should become familiar with the game, right? That's the same with speaking. You need to know how to improve your speaking first. Now in this video, I'm gonna teach you two simple rules that can help you take your speaking to the next level by improving your communication. Let's start. Tip number one, avoid short answers. If somebody wants to have a conversation with you and asks you a question, don't blow them off by answering very briefly where are you from? Italy. Instead, try to get into details. By talking about details, you show that you are also interested in having a conversation. Where are you from? I'm from Italy. I was born in Milan, one of the largest cities in Italy. And it's famous for its typical food, risotto milanese. You have to try it. That is much better. Now again, think of the game of ping pong. If you hit the ball, but your opponent doesn't return the ball, the game is over. And we don't want the game to be over, we want to keep playing. Now, how can you return the ball? Or how can you keep the conversation going? By returning a question. Where are you from? I'm from Italy. I was born in Milan, one of the largest cities in Italy. And it's famous for its typical food, risotto milanese. You have to try it. How about you? Where are you from? I'm from the States. Now, what if the other person gives you a very short reply? Well, that's rule number two. Don't let the conversation die by using follow-up questions. Keep it going. Ask some follow-up questions. The States? Wow, I've never been there. Whereabouts in the States? I was born in Boston, but five years ago I moved to New York. That's it. So, two simple rules. Number one, avoid short answers. And number two, use follow-up questions to keep the game going. So, now you know, theoretically, how to practice speaking. But are you a good speaker? Again, imagine you buy a racket and a ball to play table tennis, and you learn the rules of the game. Are you a good tennis player? No, you need practice. You have to play against an opponent to test yourself to learn more and more and more. The more you play, the better player you are. Same with speaking. The more you practice, the more you speak, 
The more you're in a situation in which you have to communicate with someone or with some people, the better speaker you will become. But how can we get the chance to speak? You can join a course, a class, a speaking club, or you can talk with a group of your friends who are also looking for a speaking partner. Plus, you can also do it all alone, which I have explained earlier in one of my videos. Plus, I have another plan for you. So, as I said, the basis of a good speaking skill is grammar and vocabulary. And the next step is to try to use the grammar and vocabulary you have learned in order to speak with someone. That is what I do in my online English courses. I offer three courses for three different levels. Beginner English course, intermediate English course, and advanced English course. In each of these courses, you will learn grammar, vocabulary, and you will also do lots of online exercises and quizzes to make sure you have learned the grammar and vocabulary perfectly well. Plus, you will have my support as your teacher and you can ask all your questions to me. Is that it? No! Big surprise! As of next week, I am going to start weekly live speaking sessions with all my students who have joined the courses. So we will get the chance to talk to each other as a group. That's a perfect place to improve your speaking. I will be there, other students will be there, and we can do this once a week. And the best part, you will register in the course once, you will have lifetime access to the course, and you will always, every week, have the chance to come online and have a speaking session together with other students and me. It can be via Zoom or Skype. And one more thing for you, my YouTube subscribers, there is a major discount on the courses right now. Click on this link, go to my website to learn more and start learning English with me today. See ya!